What's going on everyone? I'm Boone and it's April 2019. Adobe just announced all the updates for Creative Cloud and Premiere Pro has a ton of new features and many of which are focusing on the Essential Graphics panel. So let's jump in and take a closer look. Okay, I'm inside the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro, and to show you all the new features of this Essential Graphics panel, I'm gonna create a text element. You can use keyboard shortcut T. I'm click in the program monitor, I'm gonna type in the beat. Then I'm gonna to go to Window and select Essential Graphics. That'll open up my panel. Now I just need to hit that Edit tab and make sure that my text layer is selected. Now first, I'm just gonna align this to center so we can see what's going on. Now the first big feature that I want to talk about is the fact that you can now add multiple strokes to a text or shape element. So if we go down here to the appearance section, you'll see I can activate the stroke and then I can adjust the width. The width goes from 1 to 100, so I'm going to set that to 77. And now you'll notice there's a little plus sign here. So if I click that, now you'll see there's another stroke. Now you can create up to 10 strokes, so I'm going to go ahead and make another white stroke here, set it to 12, and then add a third stroke, match it to that same color here, bring that to 77, and then a final stroke of white, and set that to 12 as well. Now, I know what you're thinking. This looks pretty awful, right? Well, we can now adjust the stroke styles by going to this little wrench icon in the appearance section. This will bring up the graphics properties dialog box. And you can see right here, stroke styles, we can adjust both the join and the cap. So I'm gonna set that to round, click okay. And now that's looking much better. Okay, now watch how these strokes react. If I start to adjust the width of one that's kind of in the middle here, you can see that the others will react accordingly. They don't change in width, they're gonna simply scale with that. So if you see the two outer strokes there, they're um, not really changing aside from moving with that stroke, but they're not changing in width. Neither is the one on the inside as well. Also, if I go ahead and double click this, and I type out you know, a different word here, and I change the alignment. Uh, now watch what happens if I adjust with say the letting um, if I go down here and adjust that watch the paths here you're gonna see they automatically merge and they automatically form their own so if I bring this way down it's gonna have its own you know stroke and this also works on a per character basis so if I select one particular character I could add an additional stroke and it will only be applied to this particular character so that's very very cool Another cool feature is the fact that you can now quickly and easily create a background for your text elements. So down here in the appearance section, you can see there's a background. I'm gonna punch that up. And it has two attributes. It has opacity as well as size. And unfortunately, it looks like you can't control the height independent from the width, which is a little bit of a bummer. But you can see I can change the size here. And now this is really cool because this will automatically resize as I type and move my text around. That, uh, that background element is just going to follow it, which is very, very cool. You can now use text and shape elements as mask. So let me show you what we've got going on here. Here I have this single text element, and then there's another secondary text element. It just says, these beats are premium. Now let's say we want to animate this on. I can go over to New Layer and hit Rectangle. And then I'm going to simply cover this area up with my rectangle. Like that. And then I'm going to add some keyframes here. I'm going to keyframe it to animate on in one second. So we'll animate the position to end here. And I'll have it kind of come on like that. So now this rectangle animates on. Now we can switch it to make it a mask. So with this shape selected, I'm going to go down to appearance. And right here it says mask with shape. So I'm going to hit mask with shape. And now you can see as it animates on, or as it animates that position, it does a reveal. Now let's say that we don't want our subtitle here to animate on, that we want it to be up the whole time. Well, the way this mask works is it affects, this mask layer affects everything underneath it. So if I don't want to affect this layer, I can go ahead and group these. So I'm gonna grab these two layers and hit create group. And now that mask will only affect the layers that are in the group. This is a pretty huge feature. Premiere Pro will now automatically sync up any missing fonts. So let's say you're bringing a new Mogurt file in, it's not gonna give you that warning dialog box that you saw before. 
about missing fonts. Now it's going to automatically sync those up. Now if they're still not available in Adobe's library, it'll replace it with an existing font. However, you can now specify which font it replaces it with. Simply go to Preferences, Graphics, and then select that font. Last but certainly not least, you can now drag and drop Mogurt files directly into the Essential Graphics panel to import them. So working with motion graphics templates prior to this version was always a bit clunky in my opinion, especially when it came to importing them into Premiere Pro. When you try to import multiple Mogurts at once, it always led to headaches. So this is a very welcome feature. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the cool new features inside of Essential Graphics for the spring 2019 release of Adobe Premiere Pro. Let me know what your favorite is. I don't have a favorite. So many of these were needed and I really like so many of these so I can't really pick. But let us know in the comments section. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. We got cool tutorials coming out all the time. And once again, don't forget, for all your musical needs, head over to premiumbeat.com.